the project I'm working on is called wet brush. So it's basically we, we take the physical process from, from a uh, oil painting and then we try to uh, use physically based simulation to simulate those procedures that is happening during the painting process. So for example, you can have the brush pushing around the fluid and you can have the breeze source within the brush to interact and uh, basically do the friction and the collision with each other. So you have the uh, different kind of uh, brush shapes. And also uh, within the fluid, you can have different pigments mixing together. And also you have different viscosity of the paint depending on how, how much oil you put in it. To model all these uh, physical processes, we, we, we take a hybrid approach. So for example, for the brush, we use a position-based method to model the bending and, uh, and stretching for each bristle. And among the bristles, we also use a position-based method to model the friction and collision so that we can get a correct uh, brush behavior. Then for the paint, we use a hybrid particle and grid-based fluid approach. We know that particles are easier to, to track the volume when the fluid is moving fast. So if the fluid is close to the brush, which means it's moving fast, then we are using particles. And for anything that's uh, further away from the brush, we, we use grid-based fluid. When we use those components and let them interact, we can get a really realistic oil painting simulation. So in our, in our implementation, there are actually more than two million particles yeah, so to right model right. the paint liquid. Since it's a painting system, we wanted it to run in real time, right? It's an interactive application. So if you use a CPU-based implementation, it's almost impossible to run it in real time. But by using GPU, we can take advantage of uh, multiple threads, like hundreds or thousands of threads that we can use. And each particle can run this uh, uh, relatively simple process using its own thread so we can model those particles at the same time, right? So then we can let the system run in, in, in um, really real time to get the best experience. It is the first time that we use a fully 3D simulation for oil painting. And it also shows that we can actually move a lot of uh, computational heavy stuff onto the GPU and to make it real time. So we can have some interactive applications with really realistic uh, animation or uh, rendering effects.